Hello, John Owens here of John Owens International, and I'd like to welcome you to this video number four in my video series on the seven steps to building a winning conscious enterprise. And this video is all about embracing the power of your brand. But before I go into detail, let's recap on the first three steps. Step one was all about creating your vision and holding it with passion. Your vision was all about having a vision of the difference you wanted your business to make in the world and holding that with a passion and energy so as it sends out those vibrations to let your customers know that you're passionate about this, but also passionate so as that you'll attract people who would want to work with you. Step two was about harnessing the power of simplicity. This is so important in any business, no matter what size, whether you're starting out with a really small team or running a multi-million, billion dollar industry. Simplicity brings real power. And we cover that in step two. Step three was about building your dream team. And the important point I made here is that if you don't have a team, you don't have a business, you simply got a job. There's nothing wrong with having a job, that's fine. But if you want to build a business, you've got to have a team because no one person has got of all the skills and all the energy that it needs to build a business and effectively carry that business message to the world. And now we're here on step four, which is all about embracing the power of your brand. So the first thing I've got to tell you about a brand is that a brand is much more than a logo and a name. Your brand, in fact, says everything and captures everything about your business. For example, it will say who your ideal customers are, who the people you work with. Do you work with young people, sort of 18 to 30? Do you work with um, older people who are retiring? Uh, do you work with adventurous people who want to travel? Or do you want to work with people who in fact want to stay at home? Do you work with people who want to improve their health or to have adventures? So your brand will um, you know, embrace all of this. The next thing, uh, your brand will tell you, oh, what are the products and services you offer? Are you known for offering adventure holidays? Are you known for uh, offering training? Are you known for creating uh, beautiful art? Are you known for creating jewelry or music? Uh, the next thing, your values and your standards. Now, are you into providing really high class, very expensive jewelry and art? Or are you into uh, maybe providing affordable accommodation? Uh, again, there's no judgment made in your brand. It is just, is this what your brand is about? And this was the market that to which it would appeal. And your brand tells people what this is. The next thing is your ethos. And this is all about how you go and interact with the world and interact with your ideal clients. This encapsulates, again, encapsulating your vision but saying how you go about it is with care about your customers and you treat everybody with gentleness or is your ethos one about being not maybe aggressive but more assertive because you think that's the best way to carry your, your message to the world. It could be you're about making change but your ethos is about being um, slightly more uh, assertive in your approach as opposed to being more passive. This again is very important to your brand because it goes out and tells your customers what your ethos is uh, so they know to come to you for that. But it also tells your team what it is so as they will be able to buy into it and deliver it. And finally, your brand is your name and your logo. And your name and your logo simply encapsulate everything, all the other aspects I talked about. It's your, your brand snapshot, your brand thumbnail. So again, if you think of uh, very famous brands around the world, you'll know that as soon as you see their logo, their name of the logo, it will call to mind all the other things, whether that is Coca-Cola, or Virgin Airways, or Club 18 to 30, or Versace. All of these brands, just knowing the brand and the logo tells you much more. So your brand is much more than your, your brand and your logo but your brand and your logo encapsulate all of that. But if you haven't got all the other aspects, there's nothing for your brand and logo to encapsulate. 
Now, I'm going to go into this in far more detail at Masterclass I'm running on the 13th or 14th June. Uh, up on the screen I have the moment two sessions I'm running. It's going to be a global event, so I'm running two sessions so that you can um, come and join me at a time that's, say, in your time zone. Please go to the link I'm showing here, http colon forward slash forward slash jo dash international dot com. Go to events on the main menu and you get a drop down showing two events. Uh, click on the one that suits your time zone best. Book your seat. I guarantee you'll have a great return for your investment. Uh, so confident am I that, that if you feel you haven't, I'll refund your fee to the masterclass in full. Okay, I'd love to see you there. Thank you.